Local, live, late breaking. This is KMAX News at 10. We're following developing news right now. One person seriously hurt in a shooting in central Lubbock. This happened just before 7 o'clock tonight. You can see those officers are focusing on a car near 20th and Avenue K, which is stopped near an alley. Detectives also putting crime scene tape around that car. No other details have been released. We'll, of course, bring you the latest information as soon as we get it here on the news and also our website, everythinglubbock.com. Hi there, I'm Lauren Motter. We're also continuing to follow developing news after that deadly seven-hour SWAT standoff in Tohoka last night. That suspect is 31-year-old Michael Montalvo expressing his anger by firing his gun several times during that negotiation. Sadly, it did not end the way officers hoped, but it was a team effort by many law enforcement agencies to keep neighbors safe. KMAX Cameron Mendoza has a timeline of the standoff and joins us now the latest. Yeah, Lauren, Lynn County and Lubbock County sheriffs tell us that while Montalvo did live in that home that he barricaded himself in, he had multiple guns with him and was likely on drugs the entire time of the standoff. The police say while the incident didn't end the way they wanted it to, they said their top priority the entire time for everyone involved was safety. We're up close to seven hours of time we were doing and trying to do everything we could to, to, to get him to peacefully surrender. But all their efforts, unsuccessful. Lubbock and Lynn County sheriffs, as well as multiple law enforcement agencies and their technology, were brought into Tahoka Monday afternoon, not knowing it would be a long day. Started with us about 6.30 a.m. That vehicle was identified in the 1900 block of South 3rd Street inside Tahoka City Limit. At that point, um, the warrant of arrest for that suspect was obtained. The suspect, 31-year-old Michael Montalvo, barricaded himself inside his Tahoka home. The SWAT team, bomb squad, DPS, and many other officers arriving at the home at 2.09 p.m. with plenty of resources on hand. We're getting us a lot of real-time intelligence with, with drone services. Sheriff Rowe says Montalvo fired several shots from his home during the standoff. By 4 o'clock at that point, he began engaging our armored vehicles with firearms from the house. He was able to strike multiple vehicles. We also know at one point he tried to fire at one of our canines. Rowe says his team made 150 calls to try and get Montalvo to leave the home, but none were successful. He fired his last shots at about 8.30. Thanks to some of the uh, technology we had out there, we were able to see that when he did finally exit the house, he still was carrying a handgun in his back pocket, striking the vehicles. Um, the rules of engagement changed at that point. So we're not, we're beyond the point of being able to just say, let's, let's hold off, let's wait, wait for him to come out, maybe try to execute a traffic stop or something along those, those lines. Those options, those options uh, were gone. And those officers are on a paid administrative leave tonight as the investigation continues. Sheriff Mason tells us that Montalvo had a history, a criminal history, and had been in the Lynn County Jail before.